A Douglas County judge rules the 15 year old accused of beating a man to death with a baseball bat will stand trial as an adult. Thank you for joining us. I'm Quinicia Fraser. Julie is off tonight. I'm Rob McCartney. 15 year old Joshua Hammond Jr. is one of five teenagers charged in the murder of 62 year old Daniel Price. Investigators say Price tried to help the teens last Halloween when their car broke down near 38th and Hamilton. Price died at the hospitals days later. Now, KTV News Watch Evans Alex McClune is live with new details we learned in court today. Alex. Family members listened to a police lieutenant testify in court, alleging the 15 year old approached the victim for help with, to start the stolen car, all after a group of kids struggled to start it themselves for hours. Police Lieutenant Kara Platt says Joshua Hammond Jr. admitted and showed her how he swung a bat to 62 year old Daniel Price's head while another teen distracted the victim outside his house Halloween afternoon. I asked Mr. Hammond how many times he struck the victim. He stated he believed only once. However, he stated once he hit him in that that head, um, he, he blacked out. Neighbors called 911. The investigator says juveniles led police to this duplex blocks away from the incident, calling it a magnet for problems and crime. Now working with a woman evicted from the home, the officer says the kids could come and go, alleging that's what the five teens did when they couldn't get the car to start for hours. That plan was to go back to Mr. Price's residence and basically rob him get his keys and use his black Nissan. And, and the quote was because it would be faster than the Kia. They were unsuccessful. We later found out those are car keys for like an, an old truck that he had. When the plan went wrong and officials found Price lying in the patch of grass next to his home, the lieutenant says MUD helped OPD find the bloody bat wrapped in a blanket inside a storm drain blocks away from the incident. The teen stories lined up, but nobody wanted to talk about the stolen Kia. Sydney stated they're part of this Kia Boys gang, and this Kia Boys gang, which were, are known to steal Kias and, and drive them around for a while and then abandon them. Heyman will stand trial as an adult while the others involved will proceed through juvenile court. The police lieutenant says it was another teen's idea to get rid of the evidence and tasked a third kid to get rid of the bat. In the newsroom, Alex McLoon, KETV News Watch 7.